Welcome back friends. I'm Sir Puffington and today we are going to learn how to read time. Crush, will you bring those clocks over here please? Here you go Sir Puffington. Thanks Crush. Now, here we have two different types of clocks. We have a digital clock and an analog clock. We use both types of clocks all around the world and it is important to be able to know what time it is on both types of clocks. Sir Puffington, isn't the digital clock really simple to read? I think that one just tells you what time it is. That's exactly right Crush. The digital clock tells you exactly what time it is. You have a number before the colon and a number after the colon. The first number tells you what hour in the day it is. The second number tells you how many minutes past the hour it is. Here, the clock says 4.35 pm. This means it is 35 minutes past 4 o'clock pm. Wow, that makes sense. So the hour is first and the minutes are second. Hey Sir Puffington, have you ever tried to eat a clock? Of course not Crush. It's really time consuming, especially if you go back for seconds. <laughs> Very funny joke Crush. Thanks for that. Okay, now on to the analog clock. These clocks seem to have a lot more going on. Here we have the 12 hour cycle shown by the big numbers around the clock. In between each set of big numbers are 5 small tick marks. These represent minutes. Now, the big numbers help us with minutes too because we can use them to count by fives to determine how many minutes it is past the hour. What are those stick things on the clock? Those are called hands. There is a short hand and a long hand. The short hand tells us the hour of the day. The long hand tells us how many minutes past the hour it is. As the minute hand moves one full rotation around the clock, the hour hand slowly moves from one big number to the next. This means that sometimes the hour hand isn't pointing directly at a number and might be in between two big numbers. For example, here the hour hand is between 2 and 3. Since the hour hand isn't quite at the 3 yet, it means the hour is 2. The minute hand is pointing between the 7 and 8. We can count by 5s starting at the 12 to determine how many minutes it is past the hour. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. That gets us to 7. I see it is 3 tick marks past the 7, and each tick mark is 1 minute. 36, 37, 38. The time is 2.38. Oh wow, there are a lot of pieces to this type of clock. Okay, so the short hand is the hour hand. The long hand is the minute hand. There are 5 minutes between each number on the clock so we can count by 5s to determine how many minutes are past the hour. Each tick mark between the numbers represents 1 minute. You crushed it. Way to go learning to read time. It's time for me to go. Have fun practicing.